back, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is a comedian and an actor who stars in the new sitcom Superior Donuts right here on CBS. Please welcome back to the show, Maz Jabrani. <laughs> Good to see you again. Thanks for having me, man. Now, uh, I, let me see if I get this right. I want to show this right. Yes. Happy Nowruz. Happy Nowruz. Happy Nowruz. Is the Persian New Year. Okay. What's currently going on. Okay. How long does it last? Uh, well, it it's actually happens on the first moment of spring, which is uh, next uh, Tuesday. Oh, okay. So Nowruz means new day. Okay. Um, so are we in the season of Nowruz right now? We're so in this season. It's appropriate for me to say Absolutely. Hey, and, and I'm going to, would you mind if I taught you how to say it in, in Farsi? Sure. You want to learn? So, Why not? So, so I'm going to teach you how what to say... What am I actually saying? What you're saying is, I'm Stephen. Okay. Uh, happy, no, happy New Year in Persian. I'll do my best. So, uh, man Stephen hastam. Man Stephen hastam. Eide shoma mubarak. One more time. One more time. Eide shoma mubarak. Eide shoma mubarak. Woo! You got it, baby. You got it. Got a, little, got, a little swir- got a little swimmy there toward the end. You got it, though. So, okay, but what happens? What happens on... Is it... What's the celebration? What, what do you so, do? it's based on, actually, the first monotheistic religion, which was Zoroastrianism. Uh, and... How uh, old is that now? I know a little uh, bit about it. I don't, what, how old are we talking here? I a couple thousand years? Okay, I got at least a couple thousand. At least a couple thousand. Probably three to four, something three like that. Three to four... Uh, it, it was first? It was first. Before Christianity, before Islam, Judaism, this, Zoroastrians were first. Okay. Uh, at least, I mean, I'm sure someone will correct me, but as far as I know, it was first. Okay. That's what Wikipedia says. Anyway. Okay. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but, but, the, but the new year, actually, it starts the first moment of spring because it's a new year. Okay, yeah. And uh, they celebrate, within a two-week period, we celebrate pretty much everything that we celebrate in America over the year. We do it all in two weeks. So, for example, I'll tell you, like, like it's New Year, so it's like New Year's Eve. Yeah. Uh, we give gifts, so it's like Christmas. Uh, we color eggs, so it's like Easter. Um, we go door to door for treats, so it's like Halloween. <laughs> I swear to God, this, and now, so. So, wait a second. What? Do you dress up? Do you, like, go get in costume and go from door to door? Because that might freak some people out in March. No, we, <laughs> no it's not a good time to dress up uh, in costume if you're Iranian. It's not a good time. <laughs> I, don't, no. I, don't, I don't want to be deported yet. Okay, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but what's interesting, actually, is it's interesting because you see, like, the way uh, in America we've kind of, like, put it all... We've taken these traditions yeah. and we've put it on steroids. So what I'm trying... Like, for example, like, the gifts that we give in, in the Persian New Year, yeah. uh, my father, uh, when I was a kid, would sign a $2 bill and give it to me and say, here you go, son, Happy New Year. Um, <laughs> in America, you get bikes and video games and all kinds of stuff, Right. So um, no Christmas. So no Christmas for you. No, well, we do Christmas too now. Oh, oh that's good. <laughs> I, I, get might a throw, bit. I might throw some Norus in there just so I don't get ripped off. Yeah, that's a good way. If you want to save money, put, do the Norus with your kids. Just give them $2 bills, sign it, and be like, that's all you get. <laughs> what is, uh, uh, who is the, who is the founder of Zoroastrianism? Um, I'm guessing Zoroaster? It's your holiday, buddy. I, no, I will tell you, actually, it's... I uh, know who founded Christmas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Coca-Cola. Exactly. Um, uh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the thing with Zoroastrianism, like, I'm not that religious, but, like, the, the, the actual religion, uh, the, the, the tenets are good words, good thoughts, good deeds. Okay. That's it. And then That's you nice. just live your life. I can do that. Yeah. I can do that. Now, as an Iranian-American, what's it been like uh, since Trump was elected? Like, is it a different vibe for you now? Oh, it's been great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, man. I mean, relatives can't come, you know? It's... <laughs> Oh, oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. One of the seven countries, now the six countries. Yes. So your relatives can't come visit for 120 days at least at this point. <laughs> at least. You know what's crazy? As, uh, they first tried to sell it as this is uh, for the safety of Americans. We're trying to keep terrorists out. Right. But none of the countries on the list had ever committed an act of terrorism in America. Yeah. Uh, then I saw Kellyanne Conway on the news. She goes, it's just a little bit of inconvenience for these people. 
Uh, she goes, after September 11th, when I got further scrutiny at the airport, I wasn't worried. And I wanted to just reach in the TV and shake her and be like, it's not just inconvenience. There's actually, there was actually people that needed medical attention that couldn't come to America because of it. Uh, there was, I got an email from a guy who's a Norwegian Iranian who had gotten his visa. He was going to come visit his father who's like a, on his deathbed. And he couldn't come because of this ban. They took away his visa. So families were being torn apart. And uh, it, was, it was really upsetting. Well, how do you... You've got kids, right? I got kids, yeah. How many kids you got? Uh, I got two kids, eight-year-old son and a six-year-old girl. And how do you explain to them uh, about, like, why the relatives can't visit? Like, how do you explain this to them? Well, it was interesting, because during the elections, my daughter... So my wife's Indian, so the kids are just colored up. Um, <laughs> Iranian I Indian. That before, but yeah, like yeah it. colored up. Like it, yeah. Uh, so my daughter was really scared. She goes, oh, Daddy, if Trump wins, are, are we going to be kicked out? And, and I had to tell her, no, baby, you were, you were born in America. You will not be kicked out. I said, Daddy might have to go, but... But we'll always have FaceTime, you know? Uh, Are you a citizen? I am a citizen. I okay. actually, I actually, did you, did you go to the, any of the, pro, did you go to the airport protests at all? I did not, I didn't. So know. I went, I got so upset, I went to the airport protest. And I don't know if you guys, if you guys haven't protested, you should, it's so fun. It's really fun. No, I've, I have protested. I didn't go to that one, but yeah, I have Because you yeah. feel like you're doing something. And yeah. I was down, because like when you tweet, you feel like you're doing something. But when you go to the protest, it's like real. Yeah, you're also a nice day with your friends. You're there with your friends. And I'll tell you something that's funny, because I went down um, to LAX to protest. And I learned something. I learned that uh, white people that were born in America protest differently than people of color or people who d were not born in America. Because we went down, I swear to God, and, I, and I'm going to show you what, what was like. So we went down and we're, we're like protesting and, you know, go, and I, felt, I was like, here we come, here we go, this is fantastic. I felt good. I felt good. And then, and then the riot police came out and I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I'm just going to go protest over here for a minute. I'm not kidding. The white guys were like, get out of my way, copper. Here I come. <laughs> it, oh, my God. <laughs> now, on the series, Superior Donuts, in the series Superior Donuts, you play an Iraqi. You're Iranian, but you play an Iraqi. Yes. Is that racist? No. That's, no. that's the best Hollywood could do, man. It, it's <laughs> one Middle Easterner at a time, man. No, it's actually interesting because... Um, you know, I, 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 I have an Iraqi accent on there, uh -huh. or, or, or an Arab accent. Sure, and, sure, sure. And, and, and just so you know, the difference is very simple. Like, Iranians, when Iranians talk, if you ever, like, our accent, we talk very uh, slowly. It's like this. How are you, Steven? Good to see you. <laughs> Hi, I am Iranian. Good to be here. Um, yeah. Meanwhile. I, meanwhile. Uh, Arabs talk very fast. How are you, Habibi? Hi, uh, Steven. Good to be here, Habibi. Uh, Steven, very, very nice. Uh, late night show. Very good. Happy. So, it's... <laughs> You're sure this isn't racist? I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> so, because. Arabs are, it's like they're on cocaine and Iranians are on heroin. <laughs> what well, could be nicer? Yes. Thank you. Superior Donuts airs Monday nights at 9 on CBS. Maz Gibrani, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance. Bad Thanks.